Hey, what's up guys? It's Theo from Fino Concept, and this is the Samsung Galaxy A2 Core. This is a phone that is really popular with the kids these days, but is it any good? Well, let's find out. Luckily for me, buying it from a Samsung store, this phone came in bundled with a selfie stick and some Samsung earphones. Now this phone doesn't come with any form of earphones in the box, so I think that's why they added it in the bundle for me. Opening up the box, we've got the phone itself, the user manual just underneath, the charger and the SIM ejector tool. And that is it. So let's power it up and see what we have. For the design on the back, we have the rear camera, LED flash and a single speaker. The power button and volume rockers on the right and on the left the SIM tray and micro SD card slot. The bottom houses a micro USB charger port and a 3.5mm earphone jack. And on the front we have the front camera, the EAP speaker and a 540 by 960 pixel 16.9 aspect ratio 5 inch PLS TFT touchscreen display. Try saying that 5 times. Now I don't mind having a 5 inch display in my hands. Uh, my hands are pretty small so that is okay for me. I can easily reach to the top of the phone without any problem. The screen is bright enough for you to look at when you are outdoors but in my opinion I think it is too reflective. Oh yeah and there's no form of protection so try not to drop this phone. Now it is running the Go edition of Android 8.0 Oreo with no form of upgradability. It also has a 2600mAh battery and is running on Samsung's own Exynos 7870 chipset with 1GB of RAM, 8GB or 16GB of internal storage. Now the one I have here is the 16GB of internal storage because why not? Opening and closing apps run smooth which is a surprise for a 1GB RAM. Now most often than not I had at most 3 apps at the same time and I never had a problem switching between them. Playing games also run smooth if you are ready to sacrifice a few apps. I can play intense games with high graphics though due to the smaller screen size and minimal processing power of the chipset. Now for the camera we have a 5 megapixel rear facing camera with some amazing autofocus which I'll talk about in a minute. I also read online that it supports high dynamic range or HDR but I couldn't find the settings in the camera app anywhere. So in case you find it please let me know in the comments below. For taking pictures, you get a decent amount of images, but everything is going to be in focus in most cases. Fortunately, it shoots at 1080p, 30 frames per second, and this is how it sounds and looks like. Alright, so this is what it sounds like on the Samsung A2 Core. The sound quality is as low as expected, and the video quality, I think it's okay, it's 1080p. And apart from that too, there's no form of image stabilization, so if you see, the moment I start walking, you get all this little jitters in the video. All right, so this is the sound and the video quality of the main camera. I mean, the sound is the same, but the video quality is quite different. Um, like I said previously, for the main camera, it also does not have any form of image stabilization. One cool feature I like about this camera is that you can change the exposure of the pictures or videos while taking or recording them. This is quite useful for me in situations where it gets too bright or too dark all of a sudden. Now if you remember the auto focus I was talking about earlier, Samsung nailed it with this phone. It focuses in less than a second and I'm not even exaggerating here. So I tried out a simple Theolabi version of camera auto focus testing right here and just look at how fast it responds to my movements. Notice I don't even have to tap the screen to refocus, it does everything automatically. So here are the couple of things I like about the phone. First off, it supports 4G LTE band which is not even the case on my 570 Ghana cities smartphone. It supports Bluetooth 4.2, but who cares about that anyway? It's not like we use Bluetooth anymore. We still use Bluetooth, earphones. And I also love the fact that you don't have to sacrifice a SIM card for an extra storage by micro SD. It also doesn't come with any form of pre-installed Bluetooth applications. And the last thing I love is the audio quality. In fact, the audio you are hearing in this entire video is recorded using this. So you can hear if I come closer. So here are the couple of things I don't like about the phone. First off, the speakers are not too loud. Secondly, the battery life is not impressive. And thirdly, the screen is too small. I don't mind, but at least 5.5 inches with 720p resolution would have been okay. And the last thing is the camera quality. 
I mean, the autofocus is perfect, but 5 megapixels, the yeah, nah. So, yeah, the big question should you consider getting one of these? If you are just buying it for yourself and you are not a power user, you don't have that many apps in mind that you'll be opening all the time, then this is okay for you. Or probably you are buying it for your 13 year old kid brother or kid sister, that is also okay. Or probably you are getting it for your grandma who has absolutely no knowledge of how to use smartphones, then this is also okay. But if you are crazy about social media, doing things with your phone, watching videos like all the time, playing games like me, um you should probably skip this one but for 290 ghana cities at the samsung store other stores will be selling it around 303 20. i think it's a very good deal for your money anyway thank you guys for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel and our other channels which i have them linked below and as always don't forget to share with your family and friends this is theo from Fino concept and i'll talk to you guys in the next one it is running the Go edition of Android 8.0 Oreo and there's no form of upgrade. It also has a 26 hour. Oh shit. Now it is running the Go edition of Android 8.0 Oreo. We did nothing. <laughs> now it's wrap. <laughs> Cancel YouTube. YouTube video and I'm not for me. I shouldn't put them. Put them so so fun.